B-Side Word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We're a group of friends from around the world. And we discuss interesting articles every single week. I'm Devon. I'm Emma. I'm CJ. And I am Maxi. Woohoo! <laughs> what an awesome <laughs> intro! <laughs> okay, I reckon this week we start with Dev's article. This article is about uh, people going crazy. Okay. <laughs> when their socials yeah. are down. <laughs> what do when you mean? When they're what? Well, when their social, social media is down. So Facebook and Instagram were down probably a month ago. And people did not know what to do. So they decided to ring the police to find out what, what? the F was going on. So that's my article. <laughs> yeah. So what, were you just like, what the hell? I think that's a bit stupid. <laughs> Sounds like you're on I an feel event. Like... A what? A vent. A vent. He's, that's his vent for the week. Oh, my should vent. should be Dev's yeah, yeah, vent. Yeah, yeah. We should have a, a segment, Dev's oh, vent. You, you don't want my vent because that's a 40 minute <laughs> vent. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, a, it's a rant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dev's rant. <laughs> so, I, I, like when I was growing up, calling the police or triple O or nine one nine one one was for serious matters. I don't think that's just when you. I think that's still the way it is. Yeah. I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was growing up, nowadays Back people in call my it. Day. <laughs> we only call police when something was emergency. <laughs> But nowadays, you just call them up when your Facebook's gone down. Or oh, when you've lost the number for KFC. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was what? just my two cents, sorry. Did someone call the police about KFC? <laughs> no, I just made it up. <laughs> I will say, you call them up, get a piece of two-piece feed. <laughs> I, um, I can only, I don't know. I, I thought this was weird. Okay, so to elaborate, I think, so Facebook and Instagram went down in March. There must have been like a big, Blackout. It was a massive, massive blackout. I don't remember, but I don't go on it much. And then, so in the USA, Australia, New Zealand, probably others as well, the actual police actually had to put out statements. So, <laughs> this like, is interesting. The Canterbury Police in New Zealand, for example, said, We know our Facebook and Instagram haven't been working either. Unfortunately, <laughs> we cannot do anything about this because, you know, they're based in America and we're the police. So please don't call us to report <laughs> on this. Pl- pretty please. <laughs> and then it's got like, um, where's Bothell Police somewhere? Washington, United I States. I love the sarcasm. I, think. Like, I know. Well. I love it. I love it. Washington, they go, we'll move mountains to help those in our community. However, we can't fix Facebook. So please don't call us to let us know it's down. <laughs> and um, there was more. But just the fact, I don't understand like what goes through people's heads. I, 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 all right, I'll put it this way. I'll People put it so stupid. that you can understand. So it's, it's something relatable, right? I, ha- I had no, no, I forgot my phone at home, right? <laughs> yes. And when I got out of the car, like when I drove out, I got to the shops and the first thing I did was put my hand in my pocket and I was like, oh, sh- I've lost my phone. I've lost my phone. I don't know where it is. I've lost my phone. I don't remember numbers. I'm my, everything that is me is on that phone. Like, all like all the people that I talk to is like that's my window to everyone that I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So I was like walking around the shops, going, "I don't know who I am." Oh my god! <laughs> I and I'm always checking my phone. Like I was always. I don't know it's what to like, do. It's like, like, and people's uh, um social media is, is it's part of them now, right? Yeah, like, That's would the... you would you feel like if you say you're at the shops and you're like, all right, I'm hungry, I'll get something to eat. Would you feel so completely awkward not having your phone when you're sitting down to eat? Like so, when you're by yourself. So people use their phone so they don't have to look at people in the eye. Mm. Have you noticed that? Like, <laughs> yeah. it's that's the thing. Like you're in eating lift. Your, in the <laughs> lift, anything. It's like I, I caught myself today when I was like uh, watching my uh, my son play soccer, and I think I'm not. I think one of the uh, one of the parents wanted to talk and I just took out my phone. No. <laughs> and I'm like... What? She didn't what? start talking to you though, right? She didn't start talking to you, then you did that. No, no, she like... Because I don't even know if she wanted to talk to me, but she started coming in my direction and the first thing was like, I'm not talking. <laughs> oh my <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to wait, Get out the phone. <laughs> Hold it up to your ear, pretend someone's calling. 
There's a worse thing when you hold oh. it to your ear to pretend someone's calling, but then it starts to and ring. And then it rings. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that's Siege, because I know you're anti-tech. I leave my phone everywhere. What yeah. do you mean? I work, I go for a walk without it. Yeah, I'm like you. I don't take my phone everywhere. <sighs> like if I'm going out, like I keep my money for emergency purposes. If I need to call mm. someone. Huh. Well, you live such a free life, it's, it's, it's CJ. A, it, it, it must be. It phone. must feel great. It must feel great, <laughs> you know? You live a free life. Like, you know what calls I get from work? And to be honest, I don't really want them. <laughs> yeah. So you just have like bad like uh, relationship with what comes out of with that your phone. phone. Like nothing like... ever good comes out of that phone apart from emergency <laughs> bad situations. So you just don't have that attachment, I guess. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's like as soon as he rings, he's like, nah. Maybe no I way. should send you love hearts. So you look at your phone like, you know, you're like, oh, <laughs> a nice message. <laughs> and then you might start liking Oh, I like it. Yeah, it's true. I'll Remember when Maxie I'll said about? I'll start questioning your sexuality. That's what I'll start doing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's love like, hearts? Why is this with me, love hearts? Is... <laughs> How you feel good today? Or hey, your business? I, he'll suddenly text me going, "Um, uh, uh, <laughs> what? Jeff, okay? What happened? <laughs> no, as in, like, is your husband okay? <laughs> Did you guys see on the news about the kids with the new bone in the back of their head? Whatever. What? what? From looking down. Oh, I did. Yeah, you were telling me about this. There's a, a new bone uh, ha- apparently um, being um, evolved. Evolving into people's, I think, back of the skulls from looking down. What the hell? Look can, it up. I don't, can this happen? Can this happen, Maxi? I don't Is think this... so. Um, no, nah, it was on the news. It was on the what morning news show. was on? Because they said they did another thing as well when they said your the little fingers evolving because of it as well. But oh. I don't think there's anything. There's nothing in evolution that would force that to happen. Oh, it says there is um, humans evolving bone spikes at the back of the head because of smartphones. Yeah, oh, bone spikes. <laughs> they're like spurs, aren't they? Yeah, bone spurs. Yeah, they're different. That's aren't, not aren't, evolving. Aren't they bones? You just said it is. Yeah. Evolving. Evolving bone spurs. It has the word evolving in it. Yeah, you got me there. <laughs> the spike-like growth <laughs> in the skull. Yep. Mate. If we're all playing chess. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if we're all playing chess, checkmate. Checkmate, mate. <laughs> checkmate. You're lucky MSC, I would say someone else. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what's the source for this? What's the... Uh... This, well, I'm on Tech Times. Because there was a similar one which said, like, on your little finger, it's like... Uh, it's a slight bent and they're saying that's because it's we're evolving to carry phones properly. But remember, we've only had phones for... One generation. What's that? Ten years? They like, not even one generation. Ge- so what's, I don't know. What's a generation? Like a, a generation. Gener- you're one generation, and then you're so twenty years ish. Depends on the average. Twenty age years ish. Okay. I'll twenty years ish, right? So evolution yeah. doesn't happen in ten years. That's not how evolution nah, it's works. Over but it millions, can happen. It? it can be a condition that if you always hold your head down, that something. Yeah. It won't be a bone, but you can have like some, like, problems with your neck. And then maybe you get a lump or something, but you're not going to grow like, a whole bone because I hold my head down for too long. Mums and everything from breastfeeding their babies are always looking down, holding their babies and stuff like that. That's why they get such sore necks and everything. But do, do women have extra bones? Hmm. Do you have a... I don't know. Wait, how many, who has less ribs? Men have one less rib. Oh. Because uh, Adam gave the rib to Eve. Is that the story? And then made a whole woman out of it. Is, is that, are we I going? Don't know. Are, we using, are we using the Bible as facts? Is that <laughs> no, 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 not the Bible as facts. <laughs> but they they obviously looked at the facts of the world and then they that's how they made their oh, okay Bible realistic. So what you're race. saying is women have only got one rib? No, 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 no. <laughs> Let no. me see. Oh, <laughs> women, yeah, women have more ribs than men. Yeah, but I remember as I Adam gave that. Eve a rib, like oh, and I then that, that rib story. became Eve, and that means yeah. Adam's now got one less rib because man is so kind to women. You see? Oh. Are they now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's facts. Well, that's facts. I don't often say facts, but that's a fact. <laughs> max facts. Oh, that could have been a max fact. Yeah. Um, that's an integrated max. So fact. I was thinking about this um this thing, right? Kids have got like when we're talking about social media, kids' whole social life now often is they go home and they go on social media and that's how they communicate with their friends. Yeah. So I was trying to think of a parallel, like. 
it, I'm not saying I'm not the same as this, but sometimes I go home and nobody's in the house and none of my friends are around are all away. And somehow I'm like, ah, oh, this is my time just to not do anything, relax or get something productive done. Like it's just sometimes it. it's a nice feeling coming to an empty house. And then, so I was thinking, can social media, when social media goes down, you're like, oh, I've got no excuse now, but to take my mind off of things. And for me anyway, I'm trying to ask what you guys think, but for me, sometimes that is the case. Like social media goes down. I'm like, I actually feel like really good. I'm like, oh, brilliant. I can just, you know, forget about responding to all these random messages or what, or even trying to look at the news feed and wasting hours. Yeah. Then other times, if I'm in the mood to go home and just like do nothing and just binge on like Instagram or something, yeah, yeah. it really frustrates me. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> this is my human right to have a social media on my phone. Like, I paid my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go home and watch a movie, relax, put my feet up. Yes, yeah, Sage. I, I, just, you I have, like watching TV. You haven't um, gone like when when social media came out, you were the biggest like, no. I just believe if someone wants to talk to me, they can call me. I, I get that. But or like, send me a text. But the people like, let's say you have to do some sort of communication with the younger generation. <laughs> this is the God form forbid. that they, the, God forbid. this is the form that they use. <laughs> this is it. Like Gen Z, you, they'll be like, call you. What? <laughs> like, who are you? Call you? That, that reminds oh, that, me. That, I oh, call, that's, that's the way that they think. We like, just got a new home phone, didn't we? Like probably the last few months. Yeah never rings no one rings us on it and we don't That's use the it the last to be resort okay g- but, g- give me your house number i'll give you guys a call on oh it. okay I'll, I'll do that i called it the other day because i don't know why i thought oh you know everyone they're all at home i'll call the house phone do you think anyone answered no i get home and i'm like guys didn't you hear me calling you on the phone and one of my sons was yeah. like oh i did hear a noise i didn't know what it was, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <No>. what? <laughs> literally i was like oh my gosh <laughs> Do you think that um, with Instagram, it's no, like I have Instagram, but I have no desire to make like a like this amazing profile, right? I just post my kids mainly. But do you think the younger generation, um, if they want to open up an Instagram or have an Instagram account, like it has to be, they have to make it a certain way and it has to be this like amazing profile or not? I, I don't know. It differs person to person. Yeah. So I like, there are some I, people. I like if you look at my like feed, I like having my feed look a certain way. Like it's kind of like a yeah. creative I don't know what it means. Like I just enjoy having like be thinking about oh this picture would look nice next to this picture and you know, then building layers. Oh, so you do that too. And then like um so one of my cousins does it and then she's got like big pictures within the little within the pictures if you know what i mean oh, okay yeah i don't so that's yeah, like that's a puzzle incredible. it's like a puzzle piece like a and puzzle. then like when it's all together it's like the full picture yeah yeah and i'm like oh my god that takes time that that takes vision and creativity no it, 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 it takes an app it takes one app and it does it all for you <laughs> <laughs> oh okay what do you mean okay so it takes no time and no creativity <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and we have no idea what the hell's going on <laughs> no you just get, we get one picture app designer time and creativity <laughs> oh you get usually picture, get none of it and you give it to an app and then it splits it into nine pieces for you and it says post in this order and you post in that order and then it'll come up as a, a oh. big picture oh, oh my god you just ruined it <laughs> i had no idea <laughs> Oh, okay. So, I wondered how she did it. <laughs> um, so just a PSA to end this. Please do not, like, ring the police for serious stuff. Mm-hmm. What's PSA? Have you ever called the police Public um, service announcement. when oh. you were a kid just for, like, fun? No. No. Nope. Nope. We have another. Max Facts for you. Take it away, Max. Nice. Backed by popular <laughs> demand, right? Popular. 100%. <laughs> 200%. I think we got four likes. Four likes. Four likes. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, um, China has a lot of electric buses. Can you guess what percentage of all electric buses in the world China has? Oh. 100. Ooh, 100%. No. Yeah. No. Every single percentage is in China. 
Just taking a guess. <laughs> he uh, said, take a guess. <laughs> Why are you guys looking at me like, I took a guess? Because <laughs> it's outrageous. <laughs> you never know I could be correct. Um, <laughs> then who's outrageous? <laughs> 30%. I'm going to go 30%. What do you mean? Oh, I was going to say. That's outrageous. Like... 30%. <laughs> oh. So where's the other 70? I was going to say 70. All right, Max. Okay. No, let me so say six. Oh, I'm going to change C- it. 65. Okay. CJ wasn't too outrageous because out of 425,000 e buses worldwide, so 425,000, 421,000 reside <laughs> in China. <laughs> What? Oh, CJ, you're outrageous. <laughs> you're outrageous, CJ. That was outrageous. We're in bizarro world. I'm what out. are you thinking? 100%. <laughs> That's rubbish. Yeah, you walk away. <laughs> you walk <laughs> away from this conversation. To the nearest percentage. Check your facts, because that's rubbish. He can't be oh, right. Ha ha! I see, to the nearest percentage, I guess that is 100%. Right? Oh, my God. Oh, drop the mic. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? He said I was right, bitch. 100%. <laughs> he said to the nearest percentage, that's 100%. Oh, I just can't believe this. I can't even be in the same room with him now, Max. I love how we're just you like... you got to give me the heads up. His ego's going to be through the freaking roof now. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> this is not... That was another great fact by Max Fat. Get out. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Maxie, let's go with your article next. Okay, so my article for this week is about um, how people are trying to be more conscious of their CO2 emissions, right? Which are all trying to be a bit more climate friendly. Um, and I had a friend that basically, he he works, I say he's a friend, he's a friend of a friend and he works for like the Norwegian um, government or he like volunteers and he I think he's part of the Green Party or he's part of like one of the people that think very much about the environment. And he was going to do a trip to London, right? And he said he was going to try and do it via train because it's much more uh, carbon efficient. Oh, Um, wow. And rather than being a two-hour flight, it ends up being like a one and a half day journey. Oh, wow. Eventually, he just couldn't fit it in, so he had to do the flight. But then on the back of this, I looked at it, and there are some websites that when you take a flight, you can then pay them or some companies, you can then pay them to offset your carbon emissions. So if you take a flight, you work out how much carbon emissions that will like put out into the atmosphere. And then you then go pay this organization who then takes that sort of out of the atmosphere or does something which counteracts your action. Yeah, I because I've heard of carbon offsetting, but I wasn't quite sure what it was. With the flight thing, last time we booked a flight, that did come up as an option. But I was like so confused and it was like costing me extra. And I was so, I was like, mm, I don't know, not this time. But <laughs> but now I'm like, oh. I'll save the world <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs> so how can you offset the carbon? So you well, don't offset the carbon as in like there's no, at the moment, apart from some cool little startups in America that I know of, there's nothing that takes carbon out of the air. Like in terms mm-hmm. of like we just suck carbon out of the air. But the idea of like if you well, there use is a plane. Trees. Yeah, that's what there's. Yeah, but that's that's the point. Like, so what these guys do is they plant trees, for instance, and that would oh. be the equivalent. They'll say for every flight you take, we have to plant ten trees to kind of offset that. So then they'll go and plant okay. ten trees. Yeah. yeah. Um, Why don't they just plant the ten uh, trees anyway? Pardon. But, no. So basically, they can't afford to they plant can the ten pl- trees on their own. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah. can. They need the money. So. Basically, oh. um, <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking, why just just keep planting trees? We'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, because they've got to get the funding from well, somewhere. Why is there a carbon thing for like just plant the trees, guys? <laughs> if you listen to the show, plant trees. <laughs> a tree a day will get the carbon away. <laughs> oh, oh, dentist. Oh, tree a day takes the carbon away. Yeah. I like that. Um, apparently, air travel emits as much carbon as one hundred and thirty-six million cars what at more than 650 million tons per year that's a lot what? i don't i don't understand your fact or your stat okay yeah because I, I i kind of started with that so air travel each year 
emits as much carbon as 136 million cars. Is That's that a lot. For all of air, all, all aeroplanes? Or? Yeah, each year. 136 million cars at That's more than 650 million tons. That's a lot of carbon. Does that make any like? So you get like, to me, like that just does, I don't know what that means. That's just like that's a yeah, big number. Yeah, I don't know what that means. No, neither do I. Like, and 136 <laughs> million cars. That seems like there's more than 136 million cars in the world. Yeah. So that means cars are worse still. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think so. Only because the air, there's not as much. Yes, the air traffic has grown, but it's not as much as cars. Um, but I was looking into it as well, Maxi, just because of this article. Um, mm. And I was going to, so you can actually calculate your own carbon footprint as an individual or as a small company or business, whatever. Yeah. I was thinking, all right, I'm actually going to do it. I am going to calculate my carbon footprint. Now I stopped on the first tab because you need to have like all the, this data. Like, So it asks you electricity, how much kilowatts per whatever you use. Um your car travel, public transport, um, like all your hobbies, going to sports venues or whatever, everything you do, whatever you buy, your food, clothes, every single thing you do like adds up to your carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you calculate your carbon footprint and then you pay according to your calculation. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. But you can choose like what companies you, or projects you want to invest in, okay. basically. Would you guys consider doing that? No, sounds very complicated. It does, but there is, so there is an app, there is like, they, you, they calculate right, it for right, you, just you just simple, input the data. Put it simpler, right? See, so if they said you made uh, a certain amount of like pollution, right? And to offset that, you got to pay this certain amount of money to help help with the pollution that you're creating. So like if you if your footprint is like a hundred trees, would you pay for a hundred trees? I'll just plant a hundred trees. Siege, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> we're not plant we're not planting. How many trees you planted up until now, CJ? <laughs> how, many, <laughs> how many trees? No, actually we did not, do an article not, on planting not, not, your wait, own wait, forest. Wait, wait, wait. Hold not, on. Not 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 um tomato, veggie gardens. Not tomato veggie trees gardens. No, no. I knew you were gonna go there. Uh, trees uh, they would be taking away carbon as well, wouldn't they? Yeah, to an extent. So I'm kind of helping. Yeah. But probably probably so, not as much carbon as what it took you to drive to the veggie garden. They're taking the carbon off the cockroach that's fart. That's, oh. not, that's like nothing. <laughs> like I'm talking about like if yours is a hundred trees, right? Big ones. Like, you know what I mean? What does size matter to you for? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, but would you pay someone to plant a hundred trees? Yeah. That's what it's saying. Yeah. Like, would you be willing to do that? Or like but in all honesty, the government should be doing that now. Just, well, the just, governments just are planting the trees. But then well, they're gonna have They are. They can, well, they're really charging me tax. They're charging you tax to fix roads, which the councils are charging us for anyway. Yeah, but I think different. the councils are doing it. Like with Blacktown, they had a massive one and every house got a new tree basically last year, unless you specifically said, I don't want one. Yeah. Let's be fair. Uh, <laughs> government should be actually evil bastard. <laughs> 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 All right. I don't want to save the world. I, 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 look, it's just not the government's responsibility because everyone creates pollution. Yes, but the government's there. Right? Like we've got a lot of open land. Why don't they use that land and just plant trees? I think they do to an extent. Yeah. Um, oh, I, how quiet everyone! No, I go. just think I don't think you should just rely on the government as much as like as we do. Like, I how think do you, people. Do you, how do you it, think it works? Do you think the government make decisions and we follow, or we state what we want and the government and then respond to that? Uh, oh man, like, how does the system work? Because, like, <laughs> obviously, obviously, I think the government makes decisions we follow. It's a bit of both, I think. Yeah, but it's obviously because obviously the, the the government when they put out their agendas and stuff, they do it because they, they they try and get votes, right? So they say, and that's not I'm not going to pretend all governments do what exactly what they're going to say. But if, yeah. if you're a, a country, for instance, Norway versus America, for instance, if you're a country that clearly is spending money on companies which are like more environmentally conscious. The government tends also to be more environmentally conscious, and I believe it's the like it's how the people act day to day, which affects the government. Because if then someone comes in now and says, "Oh, by the way, we're gonna um, we like in Norway and says we're gonna get rid of all public transport and make all cars free and stuff like this," nobody will vote for them. But in America, they probably yeah. would because it's like, "Oh no, we we like freedom. We like this sort of yeah. you know." So I think it yeah. does 
there's it's obviously a really complicated situation but i think one of the things i often preach and this is me preaching right now is like the biggest way you can state like your mark on the world even more so than voting is how you spend your money so if you if you demonstrate with what's most important to you which is often what money after family maybe <laughs> <laughs> if you show how you use that and where it's going and like just by so just for instance people start going vegan but you went to a shop like 10 years ago nobody it was really hard to be a vegan but because so many people try to do it tesco yeah, didn't, now it's mainstream but like the supermarket didn't put more vegan stuff out just for the crack of it like they didn't make that decision it was because more people wanted to do that right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. because so, the demand was there but, but the i do this. understand your point though of like it shouldn't be us that are trying to offset our carbon necessarily but like charity was charity start us at home does that make any sense like you should leave yeah, yeah, you should live yeah, yeah i get what you mean yeah yeah well the the you know federal governments or whatever they just always argue amongst themselves and then they say yeah we're going to implement carbon tax or whatever and then other others are like no no way you know it's, so then people go fine i'm i'll just do it myself type thing yeah but that's I what they're hoping for the, the, the fact is this where does your tax money go <laughs> i don't know because uh, last time I checked, we, we pay council rates, correct? Yeah. Yes. Which, looks, which looks after our roads, yeah. looks after our bins and stuff like that. So yeah. where does the actual tax go? They can use that money to plant trees and maybe get rid of the carbon. Education, hospital systems. It's a, like, war. I, 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 the, the, <laughs> hold on, I, I never thought of them. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's, not a re- there's a reason why we're not in politics and like yeah, not part of the treasury. I am not a politician. It's because... Yeah. W- I would benefits. say let's plant some trees. <laughs> so it's like one billion dollars. What do you want? Trees? Trees. <laughs> More trees. <laughs> Where are we drive? Got about trees. driving? You got trees. <laughs> carbon gone. Actually, <laughs> uh, you just reminded me. No more carbon. <laughs> Oxygen. Bang, anyway. and the carbon's gone. That's an Everyone's on oxygen, oxygen high. <laughs> <laughs> oxygen high. <laughs> breathe it in, guys. Breathe it in. <laughs> This is why you voted for me. The air is very flammable now. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, who stopped smoking? Because (laughs) because there's so many trees, Mm -hmm. you don't need need to invest more into hospitals because there'll be less people getting sick because there's less pollution in the air. Mate, we're on we're on we're on target here. Trees, mate. Okay, so we are going to do Alexander's two-minute tweet, okay? He's not here, by the way. He should be here next week, hopefully. So this tweet is from Steph at Strickland0423 on Twitter because it's a tweet. Um, So it says, (laughs) at Jimmy Kimmel Live, Dayton, Ohio News, Channel 7 weatherman rants about views wanting to get back to the hashtag bachelorette during a tornado warning so the weatherman it was reporting on a tornado warning and i guess yeah. they were getting tweet like they were getting tweets or like something saying hashtag bachelorette like why are you interrupting our evening of tv to show us this tornado warning and so this weatherman just like lost it, <laughs> lost it completely um oh really i didn't know that was the background yeah um someone goes is that man get fired over trying to protect people i would donate some of my navy retirement check to him because that's some bs except he spelt check wrong but (laughs) (laughs) um it wasn't in the spelling bee and navy all right (laughs) (laughs) but like i totally get where he's coming from and i actually think it's hilarious that he had that little online rant or on air rant um, but he's totally getting into trouble for that. I feel like he uh, he's been keeping this uh, bottle up for a while. Bottle up oh, inside. it's been brewing. Yeah. Yeah. It's been brewing. Oh my yeah. gosh! I love it when he says, um, "He goes." Some people say this is about my ego. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! You, have you ever have you ever like bit your tongue so long that it just like it comes out and they're like, "Why is he just exploding for no reason?" When it's over, like, over a and marshmallow it's a very or minor something. Minor thing as well. <laughs> Like the big thing that actually bothers you, you say nothing about. Yeah. And the minor thing, you just lose your. I like shite. how he goes. 
I'm just sorry. I'm just sorry that I had to do that. But like everyone, everyone gets that bit where they're like, oh shit, what did I just do? Oh no. <laughs> but still, that's how I feel. Anyway, that's quite funny. That would have been funny to see live, I think. Why? Yeah, for sure. Because you'd be like, "What's going on?" I wouldn't. I wouldn't be laughing. I'd be, I'd be like, panicking about the tornado. Yeah. But I, I, no, but I'd always be like, I'm "Yeah, like, shut up, stop ranting. Where is this tornado? <laughs> <laughs> is it anywhere near me?" Open up the blinds. Don't worry, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I thought it was windy. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair went everywhere, CJ, didn't it? <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> yeah. For the listeners out there, it's funny because CJ is um hairless. <laughs> I thought, I, I thought I'd just explain the joke. But you didn't. <laughs> no, it just paused and made it really Why uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> CJ is um <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what words to say. I didn't know what to say. Were you gonna finish? No, I was thinking. Oh my God. See, this is what Maxie was talking about. People just want stuff now, 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 now. Let me think. Mate, we didn't want to be Do you know here how tomorrow. much carbon you produce by buttoning so early there. <laughs> Unbelievable, Emma. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Oh. So funny. <laughs> Okay, we'll do my article next. Um, tiny houses. Tiny houses. That's a trending thing, isn't it? Really trending. I don't know if it's trending here in Australia, but it's definitely trending in America. I'm not sure about Norway. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So the, you've seen like <laughs> the programs and stuff on it, though? Yeah. On Netflix, yeah. whatever. I love watching tiny house programs why so yeah. basically people are wanting to downgrade from their normal size house or they are first home buyers and don't have enough money to buy to get a mortgage and so i think all right we'll just do the small step and get our own place but a tiny home because it's like a fraction of the cost yeah okay so this 13 year old in iowa had been watching like tiny house shows and he decided to build his own. A 13-year-old boy. Wow. I know. So <laughs> What were we doing at 13? <laughs> I'm building houses. So this was in his Trying school holidays. Mm, well, I don't think I can say what I was doing at 13. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. We all know what you're doing at 13. <laughs> oh, you, as if you weren't doing it too. Anyway, this was such a wholesome <laughs> article. <laughs> um, so this cost him 1500 US dollars. And he didn't just Wait. get the money from his parents. He went and did like grass chopping. <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> grass chopping. <laughs> he walked around with an axe and chopped the grass. <laughs> is that a new, uh, a new, uh, a new job title? Grass if it chopper. Is that I've been doing some grass chopping too? <laughs> uh, he was what did you do this weekend? I did some grass chopping. <laughs> <laughs> hi ho, hi ho! It's off to chop the grass we go. <laughs> you get a small axe. You get a small axe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he was cutting oh, grass. Yes, he would like mow lawns and like just do little odd jobs, clean out people's garages and just stuff like that. And he raised the money and built this tiny home. Obviously, with his dad's help, okay? So, um, he's I, learned all these skills, by the way, now. I've seen this on YouTube, this kid. Oh, yes, okay. yes. Okay, there's an actual quite a long YouTube video on it. I didn't watch it, but it's a quite a long, like, 15 minutes or something like that. Hmm. Um, that's actually not that long, is it? But for YouTube, hmm. it is. Um, and... <laughs> <laughs> Ain't got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> also, it, he constructed it out of 75%... Uh, reclaimed materials as well. So he's oh, trying to be environmentally cute. conscious too. Um, and then he would get people in, like neighbours who are skilled at something in exchange for, you know, chopping, um, for chopping, chopping their, grass. Name. What's their his grass. Kid, what's his kid's name? This kid's name is Luke Phil. Remember the name. Luke Phil. Remember the name. Phil. Amazon, from, Amazon watch out. From Why? Dubuque. Luke, Luke's coming. Dubuque or Iowa? He built, he built a tiny house. 
<laughs> yeah, well, I was going to say, I mean, he's going to build them houses to ship. Like, <laughs> Mate, he's he's 13 and he's starting to do this. Yeah. You, uh, you can only imagine what he's going to do when he gets older wi- and he has resources. Okay, he just discovered yeah. girls. He needed a private spot, so he built a little shed. <laughs> so he's not allowed to live in the house full time because it doesn't have I any reckon- plumbing. But he does oh. spend a couple nights a week sleeping there. Yeah, sure. And then he does, he does all his Amazon. homework as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think it's a house then. <laughs> it's I got think, like I everything. I think this is a guy. Plumbing. Do you know the guy that? Um, have you seen the bacon is good for you guy? The little kid. I reckon it's no. him. No. The bacon is good for you guy. What? It's like a. There's a kid. He, he's probably about eight, nine years old. And then it's like you no. Know, when you have like super nannies come in to a house. And oh they yeah. S- like say, oh, you got too much. This kind of food in your fridge and, and oh yeah yeah some... yeah 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 yeah. Have you seen it? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like I've well, seen... super nanny and they look after the kids and the parents are having problems with the kids and they like sort everything out. Yeah, uh, yeah yeah. That's basically what they do. But I'm, there's this one which is quite famous <laughs> and the kids like they're getting rid of everything in the fridge and then the kids like and she goes get rid of the bacon. She goes. Hey, 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 not my bacon. And she's like, I do remember that. What? You can take anything you want, but you can't take my bacon. Let me tell you what? something, Missy. Bacon is good for you. No. <laughs> you crack up if you watch that scene. What? You crack up. Was the kid obese? <laughs> He was pretty. He was chunky. Let's say that. I don't know what the correct yeah. term is, but chunky. I haven't so seen chunky that. You See, I thought obese was the correct term, <laughs> and I thought chunky was the incorrect term. No, 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 no. no. I mean, I mean, I meant for him specifically. I don't know what he was. Oh, I don't know if he was chunky, overweight. I don't know what the categories are, but if you just say, wait, I don't know. If he was, yeah, obese, overweight, but he was chunky for sure. I have not seen the bacon <laughs> so, kid. Thirteen-year-old. He's doing but, this. Yeah. I just think there's some That's kids. really impressive. It's, it's so impressive. impressive. There's some people that are just like, have this just drive to just do things. Maybe and they, can, maybe doesn't like his parents. wants to get away. No, he said <laughs> me and my dad really bonded over this whole project. Yeah, he was bonding with him to get him at the house. <laughs> <laughs> so he could be like, all right, I'm going now to yeah. my there, house. I've not even scrolled down. Yeah, it looks like it's really small, obviously, because it's a tiny house. Yeah. But it, I can only see the... Out, I can't see any pictures of the interior. Do I, you I have think you interior? have to watch the YouTube video. Did you know I'm thinking of when he's 16? You mean to go, I'll take it back to my place? <laughs> 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 and this is a little shed. Just watch your head. It's just one of those things, like, when you're at a certain age, right, it's, like, really impressive. But then you get to a, an age when you're old enough, and then it's no longer impressive, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like... But but sometimes people don't grow out of it. They don't realize it's no longer impressive. Yeah. So he built this house. And when he was young, everyone was like, wow, your house is amazing. Like, this is so cool. Roll forward five years. He still thinks it's cool. He goes out, pulls some girl at the club, does really well. Goes, hey, come back to my place. <laughs> like, this isn't a place. This is a shed. <laughs> and on the, so- on the side of the shed is, if the sheds are rocking, don't bother knocking. <laughs> so have you seen have you seen these small houses, tiny houses siege? No. I like them. I've seen this one. Have you no, this is the tiny houses are like a contain like container? Yeah. No. No. Well, oh, like size wise. Size wise. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Would you would you think about moving into a tiny house? Yeah. If I didn't have three children. I'd think about it, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I yeah, feel like I there's it's... some sort of appeal to it. I think when we're like, if you're older, like I've seen like some like retired couples and they're like, we'd have to do a condo. Nesters. Like we'd have to do a condo. What's her name? Marie her Kondo. Name? Marie Kondo. We'd we, have to get we... rid of a lot of stuff in this yes. house. I feel like when there's less people, when the kids are all grown up. How about this? You let them build little shit houses. How do we get a, t- <laughs> a tiny house each? Each <laughs> and connect them together. No, no. Two way doors. I <laughs> want each. I mean, you missed the point completely. You completely missed the point. <laughs> so we tear down our house and then have that's, one that's at each corner. That's a big house, by the way. Two tiny houses together is a normal size house. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking like you connect it, but there's like a two way door, and then so you don't have to like go between, but you can. If what do you, you mean want. a two way door? You know, like in a hotel room, and there's like another door, but it's locked. But you could, if there's like a whole group of you, you can open it, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, like that. so, so break are we, in. Are we, are we, rather than saying two houses together, you're just saying a house with two rooms? Yeah. <laughs> 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 How about this? Yeah. I'll install doors. An extra door in each one of your bedrooms, and you have what you want. <laughs> Sage, look it up. Tiny houses. See if you'd move into one of them. I, I, I quite like. 
like the idea just of sleeping up. in the loft area. And you know, there's that um, show right no, now. No, on no, 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 no. Do you remember when we uh, rented the RV? Remember the RV in Scotland? When we were going was to Scotland? Awesome. I loved that. No, I could go around Australia in an RV. Just us two? Yeah. Not with the kids. Hey, uh, for a short time. Hey, hey, Emma, <laughs> no, that's Emma. That's all. Okay, you have so. three children. Yeah, you I don't keep do anything. You two forgetting now. that. <laughs> <laughs> Where you guys go, you take them too. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I think it would be cool to, to do a, I think a trip. You got to be a certain. Uh, you have to have. Uh, you have to be a certain person to uh, live in a small house. It's. See, for me, it's fine. I think yeah. I could do it short term. Yeah, like, but the idea of me spending my life in a small yeah. house is is tough. Short, short term, because it's still gimmicky, right? You sort of like, oh, this is all yeah. right. But after a while, and then, like, uh, you, you save money, you learn a lot about yourself. You yeah. like, you Maybe. have a lot of flexibility, especially if you, they're on wheels. Some of them are on like, yeah, just, like, uh, yeah, yeah. They can just they pull can them and park around, right? them wherever. So you're saying like a caravan? So it's, it's no, nah, it's big. It's bigger than a caravan. Like it's you can, like a caravan. It looks, it looks just like a house, right? Yeah. It looks like anyway, a very small little house. Have you looked one up? No. Have a look. All right, I'll like, pull some up on here for you, CJ. Tiny houses. Like I enjoy watching. I enjoy watching them to see like their design ideas because obviously, yes. some yes. of them are really good at making it feel. That, that looks like a not like large. a tiny house. Yeah, like some that. are yeah. bigger than others, but they're still all tiny. Some of them are minute. That's they. They're using wide-angle uh, camera lenses, mate. They're they're tiny. And like some of, because in the Netflix one, they have those two guys and they come on and help them get it done in their time period, right? I think I like, I, I'm saying what I like what Maxi was saying. Like, I agree with what Maxi was saying. I love how they try to, um, the engineering that they put into these houses to make them feel like a normal house. That's what I was going to say. Like they, they're so, they come up with these ingenious ideas to create space or create something with a double purpose or. Yes, and yeah. also to suit the actual owner, like yeah. it's it's got their little um, touches of yeah. the owner in it. I like that. So mine yeah. is be big screen TV, video games, and movies. Yeah, actually, you could move into a small house. Yeah, I reckon you could easily move and into a, a small big house. Fridge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, look at this one here, and it's got the steps leading up to the no steps on top balcony. Too fat to do steps. No, look on the outside. <laughs> 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 Maybe a lift. <laughs> Look inside this one, <laughs> CJ. That's nice. <laughs> Maybe a lift. <laughs> You're gonna like start out trying to build a small house. You end up building the Ritz. Just everything. Like, no, I gotta have this. I gotta have this. <laughs> so this kid, right? I um. Which kid? The the 13 year old that created this uh, little house. What was his name? Because you said no one forget his Luke. name. Luke. What was his surname? Feeny. Phil. Phil. Um. You've, so you forgot his name already. <laughs> so Amazon doesn't have to watch that. Luke Phil. Luke. Phil's first name. Not Phil. 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 Yeah, Phil. But I'm sure there's Phil, filth going on in there it's right th. now. T-H. T-H. T-H-I-L-L. <laughs> you know, uh, the young... I like the... Growing up, do you remember those amazing uh, like six-year-olds that could play Beethoven and stuff? <laughs> I always mm. wonder what happened you, to them. Did you know some? <laughs> no, like, because you know, remember, oh, you weren't here, but like the variety shows like Hey, Hey, It's Saturday and stuff. It's yeah. like a talent show. And then you yeah. see these like six-year-olds in there. I, I always wondered, I always wonder what happened to those kids, but I don't remember their names. Yeah. They're just amazing well, when they're. There's so many talented kids. And I think, gosh, some of them are younger than like our eldest. And I'm like, what? Like, how? How did that happen? Like on Ellen, she gets loads of talented kids in. Yes. Yeah, and they're like amazing at whatever it is they do. I wonder what the percentage is of those uh, genius kids pushing on to create like greatness in the world, and some of them are just like, you know what? I know what the world's all about. I'm just going to kick back and just enjoy it. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> what, but they're, they're good at one thing, right? They're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, but it's just having so that amazing pianist. I don't then expect him to solve global warming. No, I understand, <laughs> but like I'm saying, they're using like I expect them to have a tune when, while the global warming's going on. <laughs> yeah, but they can still like <laughs> yeah. make make um, play a sad song, make inroads in that field. Or, I don't know. <laughs> like, cause yeah, I know what you mean. It's um like they're using part of the brain that's creative, and like if they later on uh like discover how to be logical and then the creative and logic come together and they okay okay stuff. okay you say creative right 
They're not playing original music. They're playing someone else's music. So they're not it, really being still Some of them make their own. It's some still of part them. of the brain, you but you still got to... Come like, on, CJ. Come on, mate. <laughs> no, I'm not like, giving it to him. Specific, he yeah. looked at me funny when I said 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going down a road of it. I knew it was a personal vendetta. I knew it. It is now. <laughs> We're enemies. <laughs> 100% yeah. enemies. <laughs> Not 30%. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B-Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell. 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 Hit the bell.